you know network then basically you can stream all your media files straight onto your 360 uh, Xbox 360 so um, really useful if you have one it costs money but um, it's really worth it so you know um, next is SMC fan control which is this thing here it allows you to uh, control how fast um, your fans spin and stuff um, say your MacBook is getting hot etc then um, you could just crank it up and control the speed of it uh, da, da, da. next is VLC and MPL um, basically it is uh, everyone knows what VLC is it's basically a video file player or media player um, uh, same as M player as well it plays videos and stuff like that um, straightforward any video you should be able to play every single video out there um, and uh, yeah so uh, it works well with flip for Mac and Perian which are basically codec packs which um, you should download kind of like K Lite codecs and um, stuff that you can get uh, for Windows and stuff so it's quite useful um, flip for Mac basically helps you run Windows video files and um, Perian runs everything else so basically flip for Mac Perian you get the codec packs you won't have any problems playing any video out there on the internet but uh, yeah I haven't run into any problems myself yet so you know that's what I would recommend Whew. next is um, Insomniacs which um, is kind of like caffeine where um, it will allow you to basically keep your MacBook um, awake at all times and not go into sleep mode even if you close your MacBook tight and um, yeah it's really straightforward you just turn it on and then you can just close your MacBook and it will you know it will keep your MacBook on all the time it is really useful if you're downloading overnight and stuff and you don't want to keep your MacBook um, open you just close it and um, yeah next on the list is Xlimo which is an awesome program that I recently found um, it basically uh, makes your application smaller and it sounds weird but um, basically it takes out um, it say if you're using uh, oper the Tiger operating system it will remove all the leopard codes of your applications and keep the tiger keep the tiger codes which um, you know which basically will save space and vice versa if you're using leopard it will remove all the tiger coding from your applications um, making generally making your application smaller um, if you if you use XLMR you can rough your know, I roughly saved around like 10 gigs 5 to 10 gigs um, of hard drive space so um, really useful and it doesn't affect any of your programs as far as I know so um, that's excellent one really useful um, next is uh, Wing Clone and Super Duper um, basically what that is is um, oh, let me just put it up is um, Basically, it allows you to back up your bootcamp partition in Windows. That's WinClone I'm talking about. Um, it allows you to back up your Windows partition and um, save it onto an external drive if you want to, or save it into any data, uh, any hard drive. So, um, so say if anything was to happen to your Windows side of um, your Mac, then you can just restore it really easily using WinClone. Um, the same thing goes with Super Duper as well, where um, it's kind of similar to Time Machine, where it allows you to back up your hard drive onto an external drive, um, and it allows you to make a boot up partition as well. So basically, you can boot up your operating, your actual operating system on any Mac, um, 
if that I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but I'll probably do a video about it in the future but um, yeah super duper to back up your um, your Mac files and your OSX stuff like applications everything on your Mac um, yeah that's super duper and win clone to back up your uh, bootcamp partition or your Windows side of things <clears throat> um, next is uh, the un unarchiver and zipeg um, those are basically um, zip uh, zip unzippers yeah that's it yeah then you they're mainly unzippers where um, it allows you to unzip rare files and zip files um, I use uh, un unarchiver will unzip anything almost but um, it really struggles with passworded files so um, say if, um, you have like a zip file that's password protected then um, I use zipeg which um, basically allows you to type your password in and um, or type a password in and extract files of um, password protected zip files and rare files so um, yeah really useful uh, light icon um, if you notice um, my icons look really different um, from like normal like say my Macintosh you know icon and stuff and then if I go to applications all my icons seem a slightly different like my recycle bin etc um, light icon allows me to um, customize my icons which um, you know it's not really like necessary but it's a lot of fun um, and it makes you know your Mac look more original and more personal to yourself so um, yeah light icon really useful all you do is basically um, launch it and then find an icon online and just drag and drop it to whatever you know whatever panel you want it to represent kind of thing um, I hope that makes sense um, next is Merlin Merlin is basically a project planning software it's really similar to Microsoft Project Planner uh, I mean Microsoft Project yeah Microsoft Project where um, basically it allow you to make timelines and stuff like that really easily um, you know really really useful for when you got projects to you know plan out <laughs> simply put um, you know uh, yeah so that's Merlin uh, Sketchbox is basically what I'm using here um, it's like stickies where uh, you can basically make notes like shopping lists um, anything you need to remember just you know just quickly make a new note and then you know whatever you need to type type it it also allows you to draw um, and it's compatible with tablets and stuff and um, yeah you can just drag it out and then have like multiple windows etc um, really useful um, in fact the the thing I like about um, this this sketchbox program thing is that uh, you can actually uh, save thumbnails and stuff on it so all you need to do is basically drag hopefully if this works drag and drop it and then um, yeah you be able to save your thumbnails anywhere and kind of move them around and to do whatever you want kind of thing so um, yeah quite useful and lastly finally <laughs> um, is uh, something that I would recommend is NTFS 3G which basically um, once you start getting into using Macs you'll realize that you can't um, write onto uh, NTFS format so say if you stick, uh, stick a hard drive in that's formatted in uh, Windows format NTFS then um, you won't be able to, you'll be able to read it but you won't be able to write on the drive um, and basically what NTFS 3G allows you to do is to write on it really and um, yeah write and delete and do anything you want to um, your NTFS files so um, yeah I hope that's a straightforward 
and that's as straightforward as I, straightforward as I can get at this current time. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a, uh, give me a you know message and stuff. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.